My beloved child, I see you. I see your struggles, your tears, and the weight you've been carrying. I know it feels heavy, and sometimes you wonder if the dawn will ever come. But I am here to remind you today that I am with you. I have never left your side, and I never will. You are not forgotten. I have watched you endure trials that tested your faith. You've walked through fires that threatened to consume you, but you came through because I was there. I have been refining you, preparing you for the greatness I placed within you before the foundation of the world. Yes, you were chosen by me, hand-picked for a purpose that exceeds your imagination. The obstacles, the delays, and the setbacks were not meant to destroy you. They were meant to shape you, to build a strength within you that can only be formed in the fire. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. I see the battles you fought in silence. I see the times when you thought no one cared, when you felt like giving up. But even in those moments I was holding you. I was carrying you through. I want you to know that the victory is already yours. You are more than a conqueror, because I have conquered the world for you. I have gone before you, and I am making the crooked paths straight. This season of struggle is not the end, my child. It is the beginning of your breakthrough. The walls that have been holding you back are coming down. The barriers to your blessings are being removed. What you thought was impossible, I will make possible. What was lost will be restored, and what was broken will be made whole. You are stepping into a season of divine increase. The blessings I have for you are more than you can ask or imagine. Do not fear the change that is coming, for it is by my hand. I am bringing you into a place of peace, a place of prosperity, and a place of rest. You have sown in tears, but you will reap in joy. The drought is ending and the rain of my favor is about to pour out on your life. You may not see it now, but trust me. I am working all things together for your good. I have promised to provide for you, to supply all your needs according to my riches in glory. Your faith has not been in vain. Every prayer, every cry, every moment you've spent seeking me has been heard. My timing is perfect, and my promises never fail. Type, yes, if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. So... Stand firm in your faith, beloved. Do not waver. I am the God who turns mourning into dancing, the God who turns ashes into beauty. I will restore the years that the locusts have eaten, and I will bless you beyond measure. The breakthrough you've been waiting for is coming, and it is nearer than you think. I am your Father, and I delight in you. You are my beloved child in whom I am well pleased. Keep your eyes on me, for I am your shepherd, and you shall not want. 
Though you walk through the valley, you are not alone. I am with you, guiding you, protecting you, and leading you to green pastures. Trust me, I have great plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Do not be afraid of the storms, for I control the winds and the waves. I will carry you safely to the other side. Now, arise in the strength I have given you. You are a light in the darkness, a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Go forth, for I am with you, and no weapon formed against you will prosper. Victory is yours because I am with you always. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. My child, as you move forward, know that every step you take is ordered by me. The path you walk may sometimes seem unclear, but I am the lamp to your feet and the light to your path. I see the end from the beginning and I am directing your every move. Trust in my guidance, even when you cannot see where it leads. I have plans to use you in ways you cannot yet comprehend. Your gifts, your talents, and even your trials are all part of the masterpiece I am creating in you. Do not despise the small beginnings, for it is in the humble places that I build strong foundations. I am preparing you for elevation, but I need your roots to go deep, so that when the storms of life come, you will not be shaken. I am developing your character in the hidden places, in the moments when no one is watching. These are the moments that matter most. I am more concerned with who you are becoming than what you are achieving, for your heart is my treasure. Remember that you are a vessel of my glory. Through you, others will see my love, my mercy, and my grace. You are not just living for yourself. Your life is a testimony to those around you. Every battle you've overcome, every trial you've endured, is a testimony of my faithfulness. Share it, for it will bring hope to others. Do not be ashamed of your scars, for they are proof of the healing I have brought into your life. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. I know the pressures you face I know the burdens that try to weigh you down. But cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you. You were never meant to carry this load alone. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. When the weight of the world feels too heavy, come to me, and I will give you rest. In my presence, you will find fullness of joy. In my presence, you will find peace that surpasses all understanding. You are stepping into a new season, a season where I will make all things new. The old has passed away, and the new is here. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. Behold, I am doing a new thing. 
It springs up now, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. What once seemed barren and dry will become fruitful and abundant. I want you to walk in boldness and confidence, for I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Stand firm in your identity as my child. You are a co-heir with Christ, and nothing can separate you from my love. Not trouble, not hardship not persecution, not fear of the future, nor the uncertainties of life. Nothing can pull you away from the grip of my grace. You are an overcomer. You are victorious. I have placed within you everything you need to fulfill the purpose I have set before you. My spirit lives in you, and where my spirit is, there is freedom. You are free from the chains of your past. You are free from fear, from doubt, from insecurity, and from the lies that the enemy has tried to speak over you. Every promise I have spoken over your life will come to pass. Not one word will return to me void. Hold on to my promises, for they are yes and amen. Do not be discouraged by delays, for I am never late. My timing is perfect, and I will bring you into your season at the appointed time. While you wait, trust in me. I am working behind the scenes, aligning everything for your good. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. I want you to know that you are loved deeply, unconditionally, eternally. My love for you does not change based on your performance, your circumstances, or your mistakes. You are loved simply because you are mine. Rest in that truth. Let my love be your anchor, your foundation, your source of strength. Now go forth knowing that I am with you. I go before you to make a way. I walk beside you as your companion and I am behind you as your protector. You are never alone. Every door that I have ordained for you will open. No man can shut what I have opened for you. Walk with confidence, for you are my chosen, my beloved, my treasured possession. I have great things in store for you. The best is yet to come. Keep your eyes on me and watch as I do exceedingly, abundantly above all you could ask or imagine. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. My precious child, I have so much more to say to you, so much more for you to grasp as you walk this journey of faith. You are not walking blindly, for I am your guide, your teacher, and your sustainer. Each step you take is a step closer to the plans I have prepared for you. Plans for good, not for harm. Plans to give you hope and a future. I know the battles you've faced, and I understand the inner struggles that sometimes steal your peace. But remember, I am the Prince of Peace. When the storms rage around you, do not be afraid. Speak my name and know that the wind and waves still obey my voice. You are sheltered under my wings and I will never let you go. I am your refuge, your fortress 
and your strong tower. When the enemy comes in like a flood, I will raise a standard against him. You are covered by the blood of my son, and nothing can harm you when you remain in me. Do not fear the arrows that fly by day or the terrors that come by night, for I am your shield. I fight for you even when you do not see it. The battle is not yours, it is mine. Stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord. Type, yes, if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. You are not forgotten, nor are you forsaken. Even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil, for I am with you. My rod and my staff will comfort you. I am your shepherd, and I will lead you beside still waters. I will restore your soul. Though you may face trials, remember that these trials are only temporary. They are working in you a far greater glory, one that you cannot yet comprehend. Keep pressing on, my beloved. The race is not to the swift or to the strong, but to the one who endures to the end. I have already given you the strength to endure. When you are weak, my power is made perfect in you. Do not lean on your own understanding, but trust in me with all your heart. I will direct your paths. I will make the rough places smooth and the crooked paths straight. There are blessings coming your way, blessings that will overflow. I have seen the seeds you have sown, even in times of drought. You will reap a harvest, and it will be bountiful. What was once barren will flourish, and where there was lack, there will be abundance. The fruit of your labor will not be in vain, for I am faithful to reward those who diligently seek me. Hold fast to the dreams and visions I have placed in your heart. I am the God who gives dreams, and I am also the God who brings them to pass. Though the vision may tarry, wait for it, for it will surely come. Do not grow weary in doing good, for in due season you will reap if you do not give up. I am working all things for your good, even when it seems like nothing is happening. Trust in my process. I am molding you, shaping you, and refining you like gold in the fire. The impurities are being burned away, and what will remain is the pure, radiant reflection of my image. You are being transformed from glory to glory. What you are walking through now is preparing you for the greater things I have in store. Do not despise the process, for it is in the process that I prepare you for the promise. Type, yes, if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help. I see your faithfulness. I see your heart of worship, even in the midst of hardship. I hear every whispered prayer, every cry of your heart, and I am responding. My timing is perfect, and I am never late. What I have promised you, I will do. My word will not return to me empty. Hold on to my promises 
for they are sure and steadfast, like an anchor for your soul. I am opening doors that no man can shut. I am bringing new opportunities, new relationships, and new levels of favor into your life. The blessings I have prepared for you will exceed your expectations. You will look back and see that every delay was not a denial, but a preparation for what is to come. My plans are perfect, and my timing is precise. I am the God of second chances, and nothing is too far gone that I cannot redeem. The mistakes of your past do not disqualify you from the future I have for you. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. Let go of the shame, let go of the guilt, for I have forgiven you. I have wiped the slate clean. You are not defined by your failures, but by my love and redemption. You are my child, and I am proud of you. Even now, I am opening doors that no man can shut. There are opportunities ahead that you cannot yet see, but they are coming. When the time is right, I will reveal them to you. I am orchestrating divine connections, aligning circumstances, and preparing hearts. All you need to do is stay close to me, listen for my voice, and move when I say move. Be sensitive to my leading, for I will guide you with my peace. As you move forward, do not allow fear to hold you back. Fear is a tool the enemy uses to keep you from stepping into the fullness of what I have for you. But I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When fear tries to rise up, remember that I am with you. You do not face anything alone. I am your defender, your protector, your provider. I go before you and I prepare the way. There will be moments when the path seems uncertain, but trust that I am guiding your every step. My word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Stay rooted in my word, for it will be your compass. When you feel lost, turn to my word. When you feel unsure, seek me in prayer. I am always near, and I will answer you when you call upon me. In this season, I am calling you to step out in faith. The dreams and visions I have given you are not too big for you, for they are from me. I have equipped you with everything you need to fulfill your purpose. You may not feel ready, but I am the one who qualifies the called. Trust that I will provide the resources, the wisdom, and the strength to carry out what I've placed in your heart. You do not need to rely on your own abilities, for I am your source. Remember that I am your sustainer. When you feel weary, come to me and I will give you rest. My burden is light and my yoke is easy. I do not ask you to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, for that is my job. Your job is to trust, to rest in me and to follow where I lead. As you surrender your burdens to me, you will find peace and joy in the journey. Do not compare your path to the path of others. I have a unique plan for you, and it is unlike anyone else's. 
The pace at which I am moving in your life is perfect for you. Do not rush ahead and do not lag behind. Walk in step with me and you will find fulfillment and purpose. What I have for you is tailor-made and no one else can take it. Stay focused on the race I have set before you and trust that I am guiding you each step of the way. I am also calling you to live in the present moment to find joy in today. Do not get so focused on the future that you miss the beauty of now. I am with you in the present and there are blessings all around you, even in the small things. Cultivate a heart of gratitude, for gratitude opens the door to more blessings. When you are thankful for what you have, you are positioning yourself to receive more. My child, you are a light in this world. I have placed you where you are, for a reason. There are people around you who need to see my love through you. Be bold in sharing the hope that you have. Be generous in loving others, for love is the greatest gift you can give. As you pour out, I will pour into you. You will never run dry when you stay connected to me, for I am the living water. Out of you will flow rivers of living water, and those around you will be refreshed. I know there are times when you feel overwhelmed by the needs of others, but do not be discouraged. I am the one who carries their burdens, and I will give you the wisdom and strength to minister to those around you. You are my vessel, and I will fill you with everything you need. You do not have to do it in your own strength, for my spirit is working through you. As you continue to walk with me, I want you to know that you are never alone. I am with you always, to the very end of the age. My love for you is everlasting and nothing can separate you from it. No matter what comes your way, I am your refuge and your fortress. You are safe in my arms. Now go forward, my beloved, with confidence and peace, knowing that I am with you. The best is yet to come. My plans for you are good and my promises are sure. Hold on to hope, for I am the God who makes all things possible. Keep your eyes on me and I will lead you into the fullness of all that I have prepared for you. Amen. People hate the truth for the sake of whatever it is that they love more than the truth. They love truth when it shines warmly on them and hate it when it rebukes them. People hate God and his truth because people love their sins. And they know that if they follow God, they'll have to give them up because God has absolute laws and moral standards. So they bury their heads in the sand and act as though he isn't real, even though they know in their inner being that there is a God, they willfully deny the Creator to live a life of sin. And to help convince themselves they are right, they lash out at God and his people in anger and hate. That is really why people hate God because they do not want to be reminded that their sinful choices have consequences. So they lash out in hatred to make them feel better about their own weaknesses and sins. It is guilt that makes people hate God. 
They know he is real. They just rather pretend he isn't real and then respond in anger and hate when confronted with the inevitable reality of being accountable for their actions when they die. Denying God won't change anything. Just like denying gravity is real, won't change anything. And the Lord said, Simon, Suman, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may not you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy fath fall not, and when those art converted, strengthen the Bethian. Luke 22, 31-32, KJV whose voice then shook the earth, but now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth on, but also heaven, and this woad. Yet once more, sigrubieth the removing of those things that are shaken, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Hebrews 12, 26 to 27, KJV faith like Job's cannot be shaken because it is the result of having been dead and shaken. Job went through exterme suffering as he lost everything in if Job's own wife expressed in disgust. Dost thou still retain thine ontiguity? Curse God and die. Job 29, King James Version. And yet Job did not lose his faith in God. Job had a fath that said, Though he say me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain mine own ways before him. Job 13.15 KJV Our tolls bun away our self-confidence, and dive us to our Savior. Satan's goal is to use a trial to destroy your faith, but Jesus' goal is to use the same trial to build your faith. Peter's faith, too, was sifted by Satan. Jesus prayed for Peter's faith to increase and not for the sifting to stop. God will shake every aspect of your fee, your bekefs, your faith, your fee, your relationships, etc., so that only those things which cannot be shaken can remain in your life. And the only things that can withstand the shaking and remain are those things what 